Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm deeply honored to stand in front of you today, and I'd like to especially thank the UN Odyssey and His Excellency Mr. Alejandro Solano Ortiz for hosting this event today. My name is Jung Hye Hasinen, and as Vice President of the Europe and Middle East branch of the International Association of Youth and Students for Peace, IAYSP, I want to express my gratitude for this opportunity to represent the voices of young people on highly important topic of preventing crime through encouraging a healthy and sustainable and sustainable lifestyle for young people. Allow me shortly introduce IAYSP and our work to empower young people aged 15 to 35 to lead a meaningful life that contributes to their surrounding mm -hmm. society. IAYSP is an organization by young people, for young people, with young people, uh, aged uh, 15 to 35, uh, presence in 63 countries globally. Our mission is to advance world peace by empowering youth and students to become global citizens through education for personal development and peace projects supporting the United Nations Sustainable De Development Goals. Throughout our programs, we promote our core values of responsibility, integrity, and service, and empathy. And yeah, um, among young people, as we believe this contains the solution to a healthy lifestyle for individuals, as well as the key to creating sustainable societies. The practice of these values is strongly inherent in our flagship activity, the Peace Designer Training. The Peace Designer Training helps young people identify societal problems around them. And instead of finding someone to blame for the problem, the young people are guided to employ their talents and passions to find a creative solution to it. The results are novel projects whereby the young people can take the ownership of the issues in their surrounding. The main benefit of this project is not necessarily that the problem is fully resolved, but that our youth are fostering positive, constructive attitude towards the surrounding society. I'd like to share some examples of real projects the young people have carried out following their participation in peace designer training. In Prague, Czech Republic, the young people wanted to do something about the problem of homelessness. Not having great resources available, they, want, they went to door to door collecting food and clothes. Now, when they distribute distributed this to the homeless people. They did not just give out the clothes and food, but also asked each homeless person they met to share their story. Some of the people they met had lived on the street for 10 years, but never been asked this question. These often tearful encounters filled with humanity towards those who rarely experience it were unforgettable life lessons for the youth and perhaps an inspiration to take the first step forward for those at rock bottom. Another two inspiring projects arose from an online peace designer training organized by IAYSP Switzerland in the middle of COVID lockdown. Give Your Trash Another Life was an international project to make young people aware of their waste by holding a contest of creating artwork out of trash from our everyday lifestyle. Second, to tackle 
the mental health challenges young people were facing as a result of extended lockdown, another project offered them free online sessions with certified life coaches providing the participating youth with tools and tips for holistic well-being at such challenging and isolated times. Due to the positive impact peace designer training has had on young people, IAYSP has been increasingly invited to conduct these trainings of high school, for high school students so that they can have a change in perspective. For example, in Israel, following a peace designer training initiated by a high school student council, the students spent an afternoon planting a yard and empty spaces around the school with hundreds of flowers. As a result, the school became more beautiful and pleasant to attend while the students practically experienced how they have the power to create their own environment. To summarize, for young people to have a healthy and sustainable lifestyle, which is fundamental element in reducing crime. It is crucial for them to adopt certain individually and collectively empowering values. In IAYSP, we believe these values to be responsibility, integrity, service, and empathy. It is duty of the previous generation to, uh, to ingrain this in the youth of today. We would like to call all parents and teachers, preachers, and others, along with the wide range of governmental and non-governmental organi organizations to support and inspire our young people, young generation. The future of this world to be the best it can be by not just inheriting our knowledge, but also our most important values. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let us pull our efforts and work together on this cause. In conclusion, I'd like to quote Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States to educate a man in mind and not in morals is to educate a menace to society. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Hassinen, uh, for your contribution and showcasing your best practices in the region of Europe.